Now, we can work with functions just like we do with any other polynomials. We can add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. So we're going to practice that now. First of all, we've got, it asks us to do f plus g. And we have been given an f function and a g function. So if it says for part a to add f plus g, well, let's think about what is f. Well, they said f of x is or equals 2x plus 1. So that's our f function. Plus, now it says to add that to g. Well, they've said that our g function here is 3x minus 2. So 3x minus 2. Now, when I add those two things together, the parentheses really don't matter because when we're adding, you know, we can do that in any order we want to and we get the exact same thing. So I could just combine like terms at this point to say 5x minus 1. Now, so this is my f plus g. Now, it also st says to state the domain of each of these functions. So looking back at 5x minus 1, this has to be one of our three types of functions, rational, radical, or polynomial. This one is a polynomial function. So the domain is all real numbers, always in polynomial functions. Okay. Now let's go through and let's do part B. Part B says to take the f function and subtract the g function from it. So our f function again is 2x plus 1 and our g function was 3x minus 2. Now we're going to subtract those. In this case it does matter that we have parentheses because we actually have to distribute that negative. We're subtracting off this binomial so we have to subtract both of them. So this is the same thing as saying 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 2 and then we can combine like terms. So we have negative x plus 3. This is f minus g. Now for our domain, again we need to look at what kind of a function it is. Radical, rational, or polynomial. This is a polynomial function, so the domain is all real numbers.